Okay, now to get into the city. Yes, hello. Uh, is this the cheapest taxi here or is this the official taxi? This is the official. This is it. Okay, thank you. What a view out the window there. This is my room. $72 per night. I reserved it for four nights. It was starting to rain as the taxi dropped me off just, uh, you know, 15 minutes ago. And now it's all nice and sunny. It is a little cold out there though. Attached bathroom. Looking good. So. I am totally dead, half asleep. So uh, I am going to lay down and uh, see what happens here. It is about uh, three o'clock. So uh, yeah, 3.22. So I will uh, do my best to uh, show a little bit of the city a bit later today after a little rest, but of course, lots more coming from incredible Prague, capital and largest city of the Czech Republic, former Czechoslovakia, etc. More about all that later. It is now 7.13 in the evening. It is chilly, 44 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 6 degrees Celsius. I got a little sleep there, but it was, you know, not the best and not very much. So I'm still pretty, uh, full on tired out, but wanted to get out and, uh, wait to sleep more later, not sleep until midnight and then be you know, wide awake, and also I want to get some food, so uh, there is a little bit of light left. I wanted to get over to the Vltava River. I'm not sure how far I am from the main center of things. Uh, when I booked it, I thought it was kind of centrally located. Well, people said it was a nice location, but anyways, 
it is a nice location as far as lots of beautiful historical classic European buildings around here and uh, lovely trees, forests, flowers blooming, spring is in the air but it is still a little ways away here in uh, Central Europe. So I was thinking that uh, maybe I'll go for like a hot dog or something on the street if I come across that. It is not, you know, the tourist season yet, so it's not the same as coming in June or July or August, which was kind of the point to get to Europe before the uh, tourist crowds. Okay, let's get over to the river and get a little better idea of where I am and what's around here. So the Charles Bridge is the most famous bridge in Prague. It is a 16 minute walk, 1.2 kilometers, less than a mile away. And here we go, the Vltava River. That is quite a sight. Look at that statue there. No idea what it might be representing. There is a text down there, can't read it. Leggy most and I guess that might be the uh, Charles Bridge cross there. It is a different scene than I had imagined just because I was remembering it as it was the last time that I was here, which when was that? How did I get here? Like flying from where? Because I only went to Prague. I flew in, but man, I can't remember. I believe sometime in 2018. And it must have been during the summer because it was very, very busy. Just swarm with tourists, especially the uh, Charles Bridge. Man, this is a really phenomenal sight. So many old buildings. More Looks like church spires, a uh, dome. I am deep in the heart of Europe. Love these old trams, 22. Zaradai Mesto. All right, well, I guess it makes sense to uh, go into a restaurant and uh, get warm, spend some time hanging out, and also get started editing this video here through the evening. So let's look around. Caverna Slavia. But uh, I want somewhere a little more cozy and traditional looking. Look at this thing. So ridiculously gothic. Looks like a 
conquerors of some sort. Very interesting style. So old, so gothic. That dark stone. Cafe pub atmosphere. Garden in a cozy yard. <laughs> Beers are 59. Three dollars for a half liter, so that's a big beer there. Various others. Dark cider for 65. Again, that's about three dollars. And what sort of food they got? Pork for 325. So 100 check. Um, Cronura? Something like that. Is four dollars, so that is thirteen dollars there. And they have English pasta, spaghetti carbonara, two forty five, so it's like ten bucks. Beef steak with whiskey pepper sauce, three ninety five, so sixteen dollars. Very reasonable prices, not expensive, not cheap. Okay, well. I think I'll keep on going a little bit and uh, just see what else there is right down here. Yeah, it's definitely getting more happening. There, the Charles Bridge. Maybe that is the cathedral on that side of the river. That thing is massive. All right, into the heart of things. So I will, of course, make uh, more videos showing more of uh, the city and planning to go to some nearby towns. I am here for four nights. But we'll then go to some other Czech towns. Restaurant, that looks too fancy there. Beer museum, nice. There, the end of the Charles Bridge. And then here's this nice uh, pedestrian walkway with lots of restaurants. So let's uh, find one here. Okay, lots of good choices. Cafe Kepler. Restaurant, music club. Very touristy, but uh, that's the way it is in the center of the old towns. Original Czech restaurant. Let's go for it. You sold me on original. Okay, actually, I was imagining a little bit more of a, like, cavern dungeon sort of a feeling, which is what I'm going for. So let's, uh, look a little bit more. Thai paradise. Whoa. <laughs> Massage place. Cute little square here. Irish bar. Beer restaurant. Our menu is in eight languages. That tells you it is touristy. But, uh... No, 
Table for one? Yeah, come on in. Great. Thank you, sir. Anyway, you want to camp somewhere over here? Okay. I'll check the next room. Yeah, yeah any time we want. Thank you. Okay, what to order? I just uh, ordered a glass of wine. Man, <laughs> these are some good looking dishes. And here we go, a beef goulash with what they call dumplings. Sort of a uh, bread to dip into the uh, stew there. All right, I'm gonna dig in. Just magnificent buildings here. Here is the uh, Charles Bridge. What a sight against that uh, cloudy evening sky. Very mystical, especially in the uh, chilly weather. Back, walking over the Vltava River. So I'm going to uh, walk back to my room. But lots more coming from this incredible city in the daylight. So one little thing that I thought that I would mention, a technical uh, issue is that in Europe, their electrical system runs at 50 hertz versus the United States where it's at 60 hertz. So what that means as a videographer is that if I'm filming in Europe at 60 frames per second, but their electrical system is at 50 hertz, that means basically that their lights flash, because lights look constant, but they're actually flashing. And so if you film at 60 when you're filming lights that are at 50, then you get this flashing effect. So I was on the plane flying into Amsterdam and I thought of that and was trying to remind myself, okay, change over from 60 frames per second to 50. And then I forgot until just now. So I'm not sure what the uh, footage is gonna look like inside the airports with the lights, etc. But if it was all, you know, flashing and strange looking, then that is why. And so just now for this uh, clip, then I remember to switch it over to uh, 50 frames per second. And I will just leave it at that day or night here in Europe so that you don't get that uh, kind of strobing, flashing light effect. Anyways, I know you can't uh, really get the uh, full effect here in the darkening skies, but it is just such a sight here from this incredible bridge old historical buildings in every direction. Looking forward to seeing more tomorrow. More coming from Czechia, the Czech Republic.